So usually I'm doing car related content on the channel here and there's like half a car in the garage and another one that's not driving out there. But that's not the point today. Today it's more about the garage part of the channel side, just like the lights. I have another little thing that keeps bothering me. I have this nice workbench here and it has some outlets here, which is good. Also there's USB down there, which recently I need for my new lights. And that bothers me because you can see it's not plugged in. There's no outlet here anywhere on this wall. So I'm gonna add one here today. So far I had to always pull an extension cord for my outlet that's behind the hood here, put it over here. Then I can plug this into the drum and then I can use that, it's such a pain. So today I'm gonna add a receptacle here. I'm gonna pull it straight from the light switch. So I never did that before. I'm doing this here as a test one, because it's easy. I will also have to add one up there because I'm installing a new garage to open it there, getting rid of this one. So with that out of the way, let's just get started. Couple things, you obviously need the receptacle, aka outlet, cover for it, a box where it goes into. You also need a drywall knife to cut a hole in there. This is for the other one already. And a bunch of cable. I got 12 gauge here. And it will be pretty short. I'm gonna keep it right underneath here. So I can just hook it up straight here. And always have one here if I need it. Uh, what else do you need? Obviously, flathead. I'm gonna have to open this one here. Um, this is also flathead. Of course you need a, this is a, of course. You can also use a cable cutter, but wire stripper. Multi tool here, a contactless voltage tester, and of course, wire nut, and of course, a broom to clean up the mess afterwards. Just to double check before I start, contactless wire tester goes off, so we have something here, and apparently, it's outside. I would say the wire comes down from the top, but we have a reaction here. Let's turn off the fuse. So lights are off. I keep saying fuse because it's automotive related, but it's, I guess, called circuit breaker here. I'll check again. There's no power anymore. No reaction. So we're good to open this up, take it out. The start should be on the side here. And I'm just gonna mirror that, go a bit lower, make my cut here and install that. So let's just take a look of the working with here. This is of course wound. And you have two hard leads. One is just coming in, one is going out. Take a look at the receptacle. It'll be like this. Hard one here. One should be enough for both of them because they're connected. Connect from the switch, a wire to here. Then I have electricity on here. Ground wire as mentioned. Split the other one. And then still the, it's gonna be the white one. To connect that somewhere in here also. Are we just under this wire knot here? Yeah, so that's the plan. So next thing I'm gonna do is cut a little pilot hole right underneath here. Try to place my box. in the wall no way back anymore just gotta pull the cable through from the top and then I'm gonna put my box in and I couldn't make it easier for myself right putting it right here cable long enough now the box here's the little box and I believe I'm using these flaps here and the screws to pinch it in against the drywall just gonna tighten it here. I'm gonna bring this closer and then I pinch it in here. Both sides and that is it. Of course I wanna put my cable through first, so it's easier for me. This is the switch for the light and this is the permanent power. So power is off again, just to confirm. 
There's nothing on here. Now I can start working. So I'm going to isolate the black cable here. I'm going to open this nut and add it here. I'm going to replace the nut, another red one. This is good for up to 5, 12 inch, 12 gauge. So I'll just replace it anyway. Ground to fiddle something together. We'll take this out, take a piece out of my wire here to hook it back in and have a three way, two in, one going out. And then just the white one, which and anywhere in here. So I'm gonna use this one here also. Open this knot, there are already three in here. Add the fourth one, two new knots, one ground, and then I'm hooked correctly for down here. So on the back of your receptacle, if you have a strip gauge here, it's right here. You can just lay the cable in here and see how much you have to strip it. It's kind of handy, nice little thing. And now I can choose to either poke it into the holes here, like it's done on the switch, or to use the screws on the side. I'm gonna go with the screws, I just have more security. I feel like trust them a little more than these pinnets here. You also saw me using one of those these leather nuts um, saves a little more space and I can you know easier take it out later on and you also saw me adding a piece of electrical tape around it trying to make sure they don't just flip open by themselves because I can't see it right now so just a little bit extra security Now, before putting the covers on, I want to confirm first that everything works the way it should. Keep in mind, I'm not an electrician, I'm not certified. I'm just using common sense here and a couple of general safety guidelines. So just showing you that if you proceed with caution, take the right steps, you can do it too. You don't have to be afraid of it. I'm going to switch on the breaker again. So nothing did happen. Turn the light on, light turns on. I turns off so of course i mean i opened this circuit but also closed it again now the moment i'm gonna hook something up here just use the bench because that's gonna go anyway and now do we have power here yeah so that works i have now two extra outlets here of course keep in mind this all hangs on the 15 amp fuse so I can't overload this here. I would have the lights up there. But in general, I turn this off anyway. I'm only gonna hook my lights up, whatever I need. I'm not going to hook up my work lights here. They're gonna draw too much. And that is it. I'm gonna put the covers on. And without filming, I would have been done with this in maybe 30 minutes max. And I never did that before. So if I can do it, you can too. So here we go, here is my outlet slash receptacle. And since there's nothing behind holding it, I over tighten it a little bit and it cracked. So I'm gonna replace that in the future. But for now, my mission is accomplished. I have power here. I would have power on both. This is working. And this too. So outlets, my workbench is powered. I finally have an extra outlet that you can actually access. Light still works and this should still work if this is out. Yes, of course. So, mission accomplished. Thank you for watching. And I'm gonna catch you on one of the other videos, maybe not on the garage upgrade videos, but maybe on the kit car or the 550 or the F10 <laughs> or whatever else comes in here. Oh, well, thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.